now that we have all the parts on our schematic we're going to go ahead and organize it so I use the move tool and here's what I was getting at earlier when we did the symbols is that where the origin is on the symbol is where it will grab so as you can see I'm not going to be able to grab it there 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 it's literally got to be on that origin so be careful where you place the origin and make it somewhere that makes sense to you and I tend to like it right in the center of my schematic symbol because that's what I intuitively I want to grab at you can see in the middle of the LEDs too you can see the little origin crosshairs that's where you would grab it at when you want to move anywhere there's a crosshair it's movable so we can go ahead and move the uh, the name as well separate from the device and you can rotate it now I can either click move and then right click or I can click the rotate button and then rotate it and we'll move the switch up here and right now you can see my grid spacing and these pins don't line up which I don't like this could be a problem I've had this become a problem in the past so I'm a little particular and I want to make sure that my uh, symbol uh, falls on the grid spacing the same grid spacing as everything else and so let's just go ahead and save this schematic since we haven't done that yet and I want to show you how you can make an edit back in your library and without deleting or changing or adding you can just update it so we're going to go back into the library I'm going to go to the switch and yep you can see it here I didn't catch it but this is a good opportunity to show you how you can update a schematic symbol and I'll change the length let's see I think uh, the way to do it is to keep it as a short I'll use the uh, alternative button to make sure that I'm moving it hmm yeah a point will be better so now if I go to selection fi filter I can just highlight pen and this will only grab my pens and then I can go to inspector and easily just change them all at once we're going to go ahead and do a point and I'll use the alt, hold down alt to make sure I can move it with more higher resolution and now I will just draw the symbol the leg to get to that point pen So I'm left clicking, left clicking, hit escape, oops, escape, left click, alright so now that we made this change I'll save it and I'm going to go back into uh, the schematic which is already open. Now the changes that happen immediately you have to come up here into library and update all now once I click this you'll see there you have it it changed the 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 leg size so now that that's matching the grid spacing I will go ahead and move the rest of my components around this will be the resistor that uh, limits the current through the LED here we go, R1. So let's do that part. And I tend to like to have everything in place before I start connecting it, but you can connect things and then move it. It's just sometimes you'll have to delete a uh, net and then add a net, delete a net, add a net. And when I mean a net, you'll see in the uh, the next video but we're all talking about the interconnection between the different devices so the arrow by the way on the symbol of the trim pot what that represents is 
the direction uh, that your resistor goes. So if it's pointing down, we're saying that as you turn your screw, uh, it will go from, the wiper will go from one to three. And then in our symbol, in our schematic, we won't be using one. So as two, as it is all the way counterclockwise, the wiper is close to one, we get the full value of that trim pot. And as we turn it clockwise, it gets closer to three, it becomes more and more of a short. So, And as you notice, again, I'll just reiterate, everything uh, that's odd will be on the left and everything that's even will be on the right. And that just helps the organization. So I like to have all my, uh, all my values and names horizontal, but that's just a design choice for me personally. I don't know why the names for these transistors ended up being so far out. I have to double check that in the schematic symbol, but it's all right, not a big deal. We could still use it. And try to get symmetry. Now, uh, one problem uh, that we'll face in the next video is uh, the transistor layout.